In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at IES lights, and these are very cool. Um, an IES file is basically used by light manufacturers, and it contains properties such as um, light color, um, the intensity, distribution patterns, refraction, like just loads of properties. And um, you can actually bring these into Cinema 4D. If I click on this icon here and go to IES light, it then asks me if I want to uh, select an IES file and I downloaded some IES files earlier and I'll put a link in the description so you can do the same and I'm just going to choose one of these uh, files here so maybe number 18 and as you can see it's created a light uh, from this file and uh, as you can see it's got kind of it's not like a normal cinema 4d light it's got some pretty kind of realistic properties such as uh, this one seems to have some kind of banding effect and um, as you can see as I pull it back it kind of acts very uh, kind of naturally almost like real light so these are very cool and I'm just gonna delete this and try another one so uh, I'll try this one 23 and this one's a bit more plain, I guess. And I've actually got um, here, I've got like a guide, an image that actually shows me kind of all the different lights and what they do. So I could take a look at this, but um, I'm just going to choose a few at random. And that's pretty uh, plain as well. So Let's see 19 okay this looks interesting wow that's really bright so I've got this light it's very bright and we can go to the photometric settings here and here it basically shows you what this light does and uh, instead of deleting lights and creating them again I could have just selected a file from here so this is a lot easier we've got an intensity setting which is a uh, pretty handy so we can kind of uh, tame that light a little bit and as you can see if you watch here they just have like really cool kind of properties they're definitely much more superior to kind of normal lights in my opinion and you get all the normal settings like shadows and uh, everything a normal light has you have um, with an IES light so I'm just gonna choose have a just a quick browse through some of these lights this one's interesting uh, 29 let's see I think that 18 was actually quite cool the one with the banding yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead with this one up the intensity slightly and um, for units we can also choose uh, lumens instead of candelas so we've got that option as you can see lumens kind of seem to uh, act kind of increment quicker so I'm just gonna go with something like that and um, the disadvantages of IES lights are basically uh, we can't edit the file so you're basically stuck with this kind of light uh, so if this light has like a banding kind of effect you can't really change that you're pretty much stuck with it so I'm just gonna place this light kind of roughly where this like little uh, light source I made is somewhere over here like that and then um, I might just dim it slightly like that actually I might just make it slightly brighter pull it out slightly down there maybe and can duplicate these as well obviously just gonna put another one uh, over here just to light up the scene a bit more like that and we can turn on shadows so I can try an area shadow maybe like that I'm just gonna render the scene see what it looks like 
Uh, I think the area shadow is um, very small, so I'm just going to make it a bit bigger, maybe 55 even, like that. I'm just going to render the scene again. That's better. It's got more spread. Um, the kind of resolution's a bit low, but it looks quite good. And uh, another thing I'm going to show you is you can create a normal light, but then just choose ambient illumination. And that just kind of helps you uh, tint the scene slightly. So if I'm doing a night scene, I'd want to kind of tint it maybe like a bluish color. And then I can reduce the intensity slightly. It's just to add like a bit of a night effect, you know, like that. You can see the blue tint kind of starting here. And um, I might just work on the shadow a little bit more. Um, just reduce the kind of density maybe and I can set my render to uh, well it's already at physical so that's good just increase the sampling quality slightly and that's looking a lot better now and you, as you can see they just kind of render just more realistic setting up this kind of lighting with just using like normal cinema 4d lights would take uh, quite a while. So I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction to IES lights and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to download any. Uh, experiment, have fun and uh, thanks for watching.